Uh, I am often multitasking like mad. So if I am painting and working on a project, I am typically... All right. Everybody see me okay? Hear me okay? We should be in better shape now. Whew. There we go. Okay, yeah. So I'm designing a line of art supplies for Amazon. Pretty excited about it. Um, this actually is not going to be my first product, I've decided. I'm, I've put together and I'm waiting on a custom sample of a collection, a curated collection of paintbrushes. Uh, and one of them is going to be a liner brush that I have designed and I'm really excited about. It's kind of exactly what I envision a liner brush should be. So, and then there's going to be um, my dagger, two sizes of the dagger, a cat's tongue brush, a round brush, and then a flat wash brush are all gonna be in the set and I'm really jazzed about it. Super excited. You just watch the lemon video. Yeah, it's a great technique. Start with an underpainting. It works even for watercolors. Typically underpainting, we think about underpainting for oils or acrylics. But no, start with your shadows. We're often taught in watercolor to start with our light tones, but that's just a rule that's waiting to be broken for sure. My husband has told me for years, and I don't think he realizes what it sounds like when he says it, because he keeps saying it. It's like, it's become like a family joke, but he calls me a sociopath, which you're probably like, oh my gosh, leave him. No, but it's funny. He says it because he knows I am like a serial rule breaker, like tell me I can't do something and I am going to find a way to prove you wrong. Tell me I shouldn't do something and that's going to be the first thing on my list to do. Right? So, yeah, he lovingly calls me his little, um, uh, what did I say? Oh my gosh. I'm paint. See, that's when my left brain and my right brain like clash. And I, my, I just lose my brain. Like I can't, I get into the, the painting, I get into the zone. Um, that's inspiring. Oh, that I'm a sociopath, yeah. <laughs> I think so, I think so. I'm kidding, I know what you're saying. Oh boy, Crazy Christie's coming out. I'm feeling it. It's a good group, it's a good group, friends. A lot of you coming in and out, which I love. And I hope what I hope the reason you're going out is to watch some videos. No. I'm like in liner heaven right now. This liner brush is giving me life. Anybody here love a liner brush? I know someone said they do. Anybody here curious, want to try one? You're on Amazon right now buying one. <laughs> Emil, hello. It's so lovely to know your real name. That's another thing about TikTok that's super weird, right? We don't know often. I mean, you know my real name because it's part of my handle, but so many times we don't know people's real names. So thank you for sharing that. I love that. It is so tiny. But let me show you something. It is so tiny. It, it is also a little bit of a strange chameleon. Okay, let me see where I want to go here. Right down here. So I can go super tiny and super thin with it, right? Like that. Now, let me lift up a little. Yeah, you can still see it, all right? But then I can also, with enough water on my brush... I can go a little bit something like this with the same brush. Look at that. And get some really cool marks. 
Oh, it's pronounced Emily. Okay, I'm sorry. So. Hey friends, thanks for hopping on. If you're just getting here, I am painting on a piece that was actually a piece that I created for a TikTok video. I decided to kind of expand on it. You may recognize it if you're a follower here. I started with just this central pink bloom and now I'm just expanding and going crazy go wild. Uh, I just spent a good amount of time um, being obsessed with my liner brush. I'm back to the dagger brush. I am just using watercolors. I'm using Core Big Q, Little O, Big R watercolors by Golden Paints. I am incorporating, incorporating a lot of white watercolor, obviously, so it shows up on the black. And the way things are looking, I am filling up this background quite a bit because I'm kind of digging it, creating like a pattern. <laughs> it's so pretty, right? That gold, I know. I'm actually really excited about that golden tone and I'm gonna add some more up here. I feel like I wanna do a flower in the golden color. Oh, where do I put it? And I'm painting sideways. <laughs> So I don't, I, I don't have my uh, iPad set up properly. So I'm going to go right up here with a floppy golden bloom. I'm going to get some of that fluorescent pink in there too, because why not? It's going to turn peachy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, for the love. I can't even handle myself. Mm-hmm. I said last night, it is okay to affirm yourself whilst you paint. What does that mean, Christy? Talk yourself up. Give yourself pats on the back while you're painting. Please do it. If you are lo loving something you're doing that you're producing in the moment, then by all means, say it out loud. Say, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, this is so pretty. There is nothing wrong with that because you're by yourself. Even if you're not, who cares? Affirm yourself. Don't wait for somebody to tell you that's pretty. You know it's pretty. Own it. I am crazy serious, friends. I affirm myself all the time as I'm painting. It's also a great way to just, you know, kind of like talk yourself up. If you're, Even if you're in a struggle moment and you're like, ooh, I don't know how this is going to go. Who cares, right? Um... Talk yourself through it. Push yourself through it. Encourage yourself through it. You do it all the time, and it works. It works. I'm painting pretty thickly, again, because I'm using watercolor on black and I really want it to show up. So I am applying the paint pretty heavily. I'm happy with that golden bloom. All right, y'all, I need to spin this around. I need to take a looky-loo here. Oh, that's pretty. I like this bottom part. I, li I feel like it's like this little, I feel like I want to continue the leafy, swirly, spirally thing. Oh, it's upside down for you. That's happening. I think I want to continue that. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's go. But not before we do another golden bloom over here. Maybe a few little golden buds. Sorry, this is a big sheet. It's nine by 12 and I don't have my camera up terribly high. So 
You guys hear me okay? Just want to make sure the connection's good. pretty. I grabbed a little white, popped it in there. Looks good. Sounds look good. Is a good day. Amen. <gasps> so apocalypse with the best TikTok name ever. I love that name. You were with me last night. Thank you for being here again. Love, love, love that name. Okay. Let that dry. Let's get on to some leaves. Make sure you can see what I'm about to do. Who's, who am I kidding? I don't even know what I'm about to do. I'm kind of making this little poof of leaves at the bottom of this composition because I think it's actually, I mean, it kind of happened as a happy accident, but now I kind of want it to be a little bit more intentional. So it feels like all of these blooms and buds and things are growing up from this beautiful lush poof of leaves and greens, or maybe it's moss, you know, that kind of thing. I make soap from my, from your goats. And people think I'm a prepper. <laughs> I'm sorry, oop, I snorted. I do that all the time. You really haven't experienced me and my personality until you've heard a snort. And that means I'm comfortable with you. So welcome to my world. Oh my gosh, <laughs> but the prepper thing, sorry. That was amazing, people think you're a prepper. Nope, I just make soap with what I have at my disposal. <laughs> People are funny. All right, let's get this a little bit more in view. Oh, yeah, I'm digging this, y'all. I'm digging it. I overlap. I'm applying the paint thickly enough thickly gosh now I'm making up words um I'm applying the paint thick enough that I can overlap pretty 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 Another golden bloom, golden bud, or maybe like a bud just about to pop. Yes. Mm. Thank you everyone for being here. I'd love to hear from you. If this is your first time uh, on one of my lives, which I haven't done many, so it probably is more than likely. I'd love to hear. This bud's for you, y'all. This bud is for you. <laughs> Told ya, goofball. Told ya. Thank you. Thank you, Juju Butterflies. Oh, these names, these handles are the bomb.com. I worked with a florist and she would always use the coll colloquialisms, the bomb.com, awesome sauce. And oh good, it's your second time, yay. And I, ever since I've worked with her a couple times, I also am uh, prone to the to a select use of bomb.com and awesome sauce. And I credit her with, with that, so yeah. Mm. 
Cool beans. Oh my gosh. That is so 1994 and I am here for it. <laughs> she just say I'm so white. I say cool beans. <laughs> Snorted again. My first time. M.M. Routh. Thank you for the paper video. Yeah, you bet. Girl, I'm really, I'm so white too. Um, you're welcome for the paper video. That was fun. Join late. Is this watercolor? Woo! Glad you're here. So it is watercolor. Let me try to show you all what I'm using. Get it into the screen here. So I'm using, this is core. So this big palette is core. Big Q, little O, big R. Golden Paints is the brand. This little palette is a handmade watercolor set from Case for Making. Um, Core is actually not a more opaque watercolor. It's more sheer, but they offer a bunch of nice opaque whites and that I'm mixing in, and you can clearly see my whites are no longer white. They're a dirty, hot mess, but that kind of thing doesn't bother me. So... I just kind of scoop them out a little bit, use them up at the end of a painting, and then they're white again, so it's all good. Uh, the case for making watercolors are quite opaque for watercolor. So, it's a great little combination I got going on here. All right, I want to say one thing to Mouth... Mouthy? Yeah, Mouthy Intellectual, first of all. Freaking fantastic name. Second of all, I want you to switch that. I want you to say, I want to paint more, not I need to. I need to implies that there's something you're doing wrong. You're not. You want to paint more. Thank you. Yeah, watercolor on black paper is really freaking fantastic. Have I used gouache? Yes. Yep. There's a couple of videos here where I use gouache. I think there's two, three. Um, honestly... Uh, real gouache, a good quality like Windsor and Newton gouache um, is, is very similar to just an opaque watercolor. So just gouache is really just watercolor if you imagine it being mixed with milk. Um, how often do I need to get new watercolors? Not very often. I have about 100 plus palettes that I own, but very often I do have to replace favorite colors at least a couple times a year. A couple times a year. I do want to. It's therapeutic, which is where the need comes into play. Amen. Amen. So, mouthy intellectual, here's what I'd love for you to do. Unsolicited advice, take it or leave it. Totally up to you. But if you're feeling that pull, you are watercolor curious, as I like to say. If you're feeling that, like, that, mmm, that, like, oh, I want to try that. Oh, I love watching this. You're watercolor curious. I want you to take that curiosity and let it propel you to do one thing. Go on to Amazon. If you don't shop Amazon, go somewhere. Go to Walmart. I don't care. Go somewhere and pick up the first couple of art supplies you see. First watercolor palette you see. First pad of watercolor paper you see. Don't spend too much money because you're literally, I'm telling, this is a challenge. Just go into the arts and crafts aisle. Pick up the first one you see. Spend like $12, okay? And just play. Spray down that palette Get a brush and just play. When you push yourself to do something like that, you open up the doors of opportunity like you wouldn't believe. It's when you think about it too much and too long. Well, what should I buy and what should I use and what's the best brush and what's the best paper? Not. Nah. Because I'm going to tell you, there's not, hello, there's, there's really not anything out there in terms of like watercolor paper, and, and paint, that would give you a horrible experience as long as you spray the paint down before you start. So that's my little tip. <laughs> Do you mix paint brands all the time? I'm doing it right now, all the freaking time. As a matter of fact, I'll show you a palette. This is one of my oldest, well, no, it's not my oldest palette, but this is one of a palette that I used almost exclusively for many, many, many years. Um, this palette is like worth probably like $3,000 because it's got probably 15, 16 different brands in it. Um, so this palette literally, even in all these open crevices are all different colors squeezed in. These are all different brands and they've all been mixed together. 
So yes, I have plenty of palettes that are a combination, smaller palettes where I combine my favorites. Um, if you guys saw my palette making video, if you haven't seen it, go back a couple weeks. I showed you how to make a palette of your own in a uh, vintage tin like this. And I used all different brands, so. I'm just catching up with comments here. Yes, that's stressing. What is stressing? Tell me. I have a room full of paints. Oh, <laughs> all right. All right, so you have the paints, great. You're like light years ahead. So promise yourself today, some point before you go to sleep, but I don't know where you are in the world, so you may just be about to go to sleep, but if you're not, Sometime today, I want you to go to all your supplies, pull out the first thing you see, and just make something. Set a timer if you have to. Five minutes only. Do something. That little spark, that little tiny step will start to build you some momentum, aka inspiration and motivation. Yes, the overthinking of what to get is stressful. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I have good energy. Oh, I'm so glad that the paper types video, I've been getting a lot of requests for that paper type video. So I finally did it and I'm glad it's helping. Which one of your books do you most recommend for the watercolor curious? Okay, can I ask a question? Sorry, um, old lady, gotta take the glasses off. Barry Maiden, really cool name. Uh, have you painted before? At, um... So yeah, if you could answer that question and then I'll see if I need more info. All right, let's take a looky-loo at how this progress is going here. Yes, so you painted before. Okay, so you could either do one of my watercoloring books. Um, hold on, this is not a sales pitch. She asked the question, friends, but I'm gonna grab two recommendations. Have you ever painted watercolor before? And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna turn this around to face the right direction. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. So you can see what this little tuft of leaves is looking like. There it is. I'm trying to get this in the frame. Gosh, this is a big piece of paper. Um, there we go. See what that little tuft of leaves at the bottom is looking like? I'm digging it. I am digging it. Okay. So, um, yes, but not well. Okay. You could either start with one of my watercoloring books. This is Spring Cutting Garden. And basically what these are, I have like seven of these, okay? And I know the screen is terrible. You can't see a lot, but it's an eight and a half by 11 size. The flaps open up. There's all types of instructional content in these books. I'm gonna try to show you all of it. I mean, literally these cover flaps open up double, triple in size, and it teaches you all about the different techniques, which would be a great pairing. Just go on YouTube, do some of those videos. And then the book is full of illustrations already done for you that you can then watercolor in. So you don't have to worry about the composition end of things, the sketching end of things. All you have to do is paint. I mean, here's a great one, this nice peony with strawberries. There's landscapes in these. Um, your watercolor mop bras. Oh my gosh, I get that all the time. I get that all the time. Somebody last night told me I sounded like, um, like uh, Bob Ross's wife, best compliment ever. Okay, so that's that book. And this book also has, uh, it. I do a little description of every composition, every sketch in the book and give you little like painting tips and motivational, little motivational blurbs. So this, these books are jam packed. Like I said, there's seven of these, all different artwork, all different styles. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna move this painting because it's getting smudged. This was my last book. This is the Art for Joy's Sake journal. It's a hardcover. All the others are softcover. 
This one is great also for watercolor curious. I'm an angel. Oh my gosh, thank you. I thought it said Wrath of Poppies. That's hysterical. I need to name something Wrath of Poppies. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, I think it'd be fun to do a little YouTube paint along. I should go live on YouTube, honestly. Oh gosh, my hair is in the field of view there. So Art for Joystick Journal um, also has the pages to watercolor in. These are double-sided, so you get to try them twice. As long as you're not like going really heavy-handed with the watercolor, they won't bleed through. But in addition, in this book, you're getting just really beautiful artwork, exercise pages. Poppies are my state flower. Oh my gosh, I love poppies. They are my favorite flower, absolute favorite flower. Um, there are tear out prints in this book. Um, there are prompts, write down, sketch or paint the 10 things you love about making art and there's open page for you to play. Uh, so as you can see this book, there's even <laughs> my favorite banana bread recipe is in here. If you want to have a painting party with, with your vaccinated friends, <laughs> um, there's just so much in here. There's like 15 exercises. There's 10 water coloring pages. Um, there's art prints. This is one of my favorites, the, the blood oranges. So, oh my gosh, my new art hero. So anyway, I would recommend either of those two books for you. Okay, not a sales pitch. Promise, 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 promise. And then of course my new book coming out, but I would start with those two. My new book coming out is definitely more advanced. You make me, I'm going to paint a poppy. I'm just going to do it. I, you got me. People are talking about poppies. You can't talk about poppies in my presence. Oh my gosh. I'm getting no actual work done today, but you know what? It, this is good. This is good for the soul. This is good for the soul. This is what I painted last night during the live. For those of you who were here and those of you who were not, you do get yourself a B-Day gift. Yes. Good for you. Love it. Yeah, so this is what we painted last night. It was a whole, it was a fun thing. Folks were giving me recommendations on what to add next. It was kind of a collaborative painting session. It was really, really fun. All right, poppies, let's do this. Fast and loose, okay? Teach me the way. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You're so fun. All right. You ready for this core watercolor on white paper? You're going to see the magic of core. Oh my God, my hair keeps getting in the field, in the, the view. All right, let me make sure I have um, this set right. Fast and loose. I know I probably shouldn't say that. Okay, for the love. Just stand up, Chris Rice, and make sure that you got this right. Okay, here we go. Boom. Ooh. All right. Lots of water on the brush, L loaded it up with an orange. Run out of water, add some more, grab some yellow. More water before everything dries, start to blend it out. Get a little green in the center there so things feel right. All right Now these aren't California poppies, I know. If you look on my wedding account, I did a, we had a whole wedding two years ago. Um, and it was all inspired by California poppies and the stationery was just busting with California poppies. It was incredible. I go right to the pods because they're one of my favorite parts of a poppy. I go right in. Ooh, I don't like that green. Yuck. Terrible, terrible. See, I'm not a big fan of the core greens, gotta be honest. All right, so what do we want to do here? A little bit of pink on the edges because this is our imaginary pe peony. Can you guys see how that color is spreading? That is core. 
core is like all about some kind of new fangle dangled technology. Well, I mean, it's a couple years, a couple years new now. They're all about techno the technology of their paint and they swear that they have some kind of new fangle dangled technology. Um, I don't even know what the poppies look like. Be right back, going to Google it, yeah. I know the edges, it is it is pretty magical, yeah. Yeah, Core does some pretty magical things. Um, I've never been like super excited about their color selection, but um, the way that the color interacts on the page is pretty damn exciting at times, for sure. Fast and loose. Mm, 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 mm. Just can't get enough. My poppies, I'm gonna be in Utah this year when my poppies bloom and I'm really, I mean, I'm super jazzed about gonna be in Southern Utah and the Red Rocks and all that, but I'm like super bummed that I'm gonna be missing my poppy season. Thanks friends for being here. Y'all are so fun. Those edges, yeah. Oh, they're creeping. Those edges are still creeping. Get some more edges going in here. Oh, it's not quite wet enough. That's cool though. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those edges. Can get some more intensity here. making a full masterpiece. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't call it a masterpiece for sure. Sure feels good though. Sure feels good. Whew. All right, let me see here. Just put some very soft suggestions of pods. And this kind of dreamy color. This is kind of like from the edges of my palette, so it's just a combination of a lot of different things. This particular color. And Core is the best for these blendy edges. I mean, Core, yeah, Core is really cool for the blendy edges, but honestly, a lot of watercolor brands are gonna give you those edges as long as things are wet enough. Core, though, has this distinct ability to just really explode in a very, like, exciting way. Um, so Core does a good job of it. Um, but again, the color selection, not my favorite. So it's like... I kind of get bummed out sometimes when I use core because like I want more like exciting color options, but yeah. Oh, I don't like that leaf placement. Urk. What can 
can I do? What can I do to fix that? And just add more leaves. See that weirdo leaf placement I did? Two right next to each other. They're like twins. I don't lock it. I do not. Mm, I know what I'm gonna do. There's a different kind of plant next to this poppy and it's got a different kind of leaf. And it's big and pretty and that's what I'm gonna do. We're creating imaginary little worlds, aren't we? And when one thing doesn't work, we make it something else and we fix it and we judge until we're happy, right? Hmm. Happy little leaf. <laughs> Happy little leaf. Garden your rules. I need a t-shirt that says that. You're guarding your rules. Mm. Oh, this is fun. Fun, fun, fun. Friends, I am going to have to wrap it up soon. But this has been a blast. Now, I want you to hop on some of my videos Tell me what you want to see next, all right? That's really important because this community is all about you. It's not all about me. I always say, yes, I'm a business owner. Yes, I have things I can sell you, but that's not why I'm here. Do I believe in what I sell? Sure do. But I'm here to build a community because I truly believe that God put me on this earth to teach others how to make art and how to find freedom, joy, and meaning in art, not necessarily as a career, but as a way to harness joy in their lives. And so I have just found TikTok to be just an incredible space to do that in. So I'm thrilled that you're here. Are you on Amazon? Yes. Yeah. Um, all my books are on Amazon. Um, and a couple of products on Amazon. I have a bunch of licensed stuff on Amazon. So if you just search Christy Rice on Amazon, you're going to get a lot of stuff. Uh, but very soon I'm going to be, I have the palette that I've designed that's going to be on Amazon. And I have a brush collection that is going to be on Amazon. I talked a little bit about earlier. I don't know if you were here for that, but um, lots of fun coming, friends, for sure. For sure. Where is my liner brush? Yep, gifts, talents, and abilities. When we know what they are, the world just opens up to us, right? This is still a little wet for that much detail, so I'm gonna hold off on that. But you can start to see that poppy come into life. All right, friends. Well, please do me a favor. Show me some love on those videos by letting me know what you'd like to see next. What are you struggling with? What is your roadblock right now? Is it motivation? Someone mentioned earlier, they have all the supplies, but they need the motivation. Is it just kind of affirmations? Is that helpful? Um, any particular technique that you'd like me to cover? I'm here for it. Ah, uh, yeah. So let me know, and I'm going to try to go live again tomorrow. Not sure what time, and who knows, I might go live again later tonight. Hope to see you whenever that may be. Have an incredible rest of your day, and happy painting.